out of all of the five star base characters in Genshin Impact, there's going to be one, one character that you guys need to really, really save your Primo Gems for because he's just that good. I know Venti's out right now, but there's a better one in the future. And it's not that guy. You thought it was going to be Child, didn't you? No, it's going to be our boy Zong Lee. We're going to be talking about exactly why you need to save for this character because there's a couple of reasons. Now, there's crackdown on leaks, so future information is always, 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 always at a Primo in any sort of gacha game. One of the future informations that you guys know is gonna happen now is there is going to be character reruns. So if there's a character that's super amazing, one of the best characters in the game for so many reasons, that is something that you guys can really utilize to really up your game and get access to very strong characters. Now Zhongli is one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion, above all of the other ones because there's so many damage dealers. Venti and Zhongli, hands down are two of the best characters in the game. Zhongli does so many things and it's so strong because he's so very flexible. Do you want to run him in a double geo team and have him be your off damage dealer? You can do that. Do you want to run him in a superconduct team and get that physical resist down? You can do that. Do you want him to be ran into a team to really, really help protect that squishy DPS character like Hu Tao or Klee? You can do that and also get element resist down for them. There's so many things you can do with him. That is, this is the character that you guys really need to be saving up for when it comes to it. You can make him your main carry. You can make him your secondary. You can make him your support character all at Constellation Zero. He does everything you really need him to do at C0. He's a fantastic, fantastic, phenomenal character. So let's go more into this right now. Now, the most broken thing in the game, he did give that buff right to that normal attack. It has that HP scale in it. We do not care about that. It does help him out a little bit there, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the thing that happened to his shield. Now, his shield did get changed a little bit in a couple of different ways. Now, this is primarily because of the general geo buffs in patch 1.3 that happened. And as soon as this patch hit, everyone knew that this was a character that they were more interested in as well. He also, you could see it, he was one of the most well sought after characters even before the patch because of the hype and he's even better now now the geo buff here is the fact that geo shields have 150 percent efficacy against any damage type in genshin this means that they take 50 percent more damage as a shield from physical in any element attack so if you have a 10,000 hp shield it is now going to be absorbing 15,000 hp in damage this allows you to do an insane amount of stuff out there guys because that's going to actually increase your overall dps as well defense offense stand in everything not dodge that's less damage that you're losing from dodging and interacting with your enemy don't do that just stand there and damage the crap out of them with the zongli shield and then of course the secondary buff to his shield was the fact that the jade shield has this 20 percent element resist down in physical resist down while that shield is activated so that coupled with that geo buff the shield lasts longer you have a longer uh, time up on the shield for these resistance down debuffs and this is going to be very, very powerful because his shield has like a mini effect. It's half of Superconductor for free, half of Viridescent set for free on a character and it stacks with them. This is why he's becoming one of the most used characters in Genshin. He has it all. He has safety. He has support. He increases your damage. And let's talk about Planet Buffall. This skill is insane. It does something that no other skill can do, which is petrify enemies for up to four seconds, even at Constellation Zero, that is an insane thing. You worry about those Cryo Fatui shields, those Electro Fatui shields, no problem there. Just petrify them and your problems are going to be solved. Now, he also has access to some of the best sets in the game when it comes to Genshin. Let's talk about the Archaic Petra set. This makes him a phenomenal support for those different damage teams, right? You're running Pyro damage, you're running Cryo damage, you're running Electro damage. This set is amazing for you because of the four piece. The set is something that people really don't utilize all that much and they should because it's 35 percent bonus damage this is like having almost another goblet on your main carry character so what this set is is if the character who has the set on picks up an elemental crystal from the crystallized reaction right there's a pyro crystal a cryo crystal an electro crystal whenever you do that crystallized reaction you can pick these different crystals up characters in your party will gain 35 percent bonus damage of that element. So say you have a pyro character in your team, right? They're doing pyro damage. You have this pillar out there. It procs crystallized because the pillar pulses. It makes a fire crystal. 
When your character's done doing their damage for the time being, you can swap back into Zhongli, refresh your shield, and then go pick that crystal up and then swap back into your main carry. This is gonna give you 35% bonus damage of the element for 10 seconds. So your goblet has, you know, 46%. This is another 35%. It's insane. This is how you hit very, very, very high percentage element increased damage on your characters. And this is just one of the, one of, one of the things you can do is too much work for you. It doesn't matter. Go in here and slap on the four piece noblesse set. This is going to give you 20% damage on his elemental burst, and it's going to give you a 20% attack buff for your teammates for 12 seconds. Very nice because what's the cooldown? I ask you once again on his elemental burst. Let's go check that out. Planet of Fall, 12 second cooldown, 40 energy cost. You can have that 20% attack buff up the entire time as well. So two exceptionally powerful sets for our man Zongli, but what if you want him to be the workhorse? What if you want him to be your main damage dealer? Look no further than the good old big retracing bolide set. Shield strength increased 35%, normal and charge attack damage 40% increased there. Boom, good to go there. You can make him be your main carry. That's gonna be an excellent set to use there as well. Also, if you're in double geo, you get an additional 15% shield strength increase, plus his own talents down here with the resonant waves, giving you shield strength increase every time you take damage. So you start at 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Are we at Sesame Street right now? Am I the count? Possibly so. It could be a thing that we're doing here. That's an insane thing for you there. You wanna be your main carry? Throw the Crescent Bright on him. It's an insane weapon for him. You don't need five-star weapons. Get those ones out of here. We're going for the Crescent Pike because it has that physical damage buff. Remember, he reduces physical damage of resist from your enemies with his shield on. Throw him in a superconduct team. Superconduct the enemies, throw the shield on. Now you're looking at minus 60% resistance down to physical attacks. Get in there, do a bunch of damage. Pike has physical damage bonus up on it. You're gonna be hitting really fast. Get all those extra Pike procs. It's another very solid build for him. This character does so many things that it's the reason why he's one of the characters that I rate highest in the game. Not just because I'm a Geo fan, all right? That's not anything to do with what this video is about, but it's because he's so flexible and he's so powerful in so many ways that he's well worth your investment. No matter what comes out in Genshin Impact, he's going to be there for you. We're not even talking about the new enemies coming out and the new stages in the Spiral Abyss that have bonuses for having shields on. They're still doing that. And they're designing new enemies that almost require you to have a shield on or even give you a huge benefit where the enemy reflects damage in their own face because that's just how the enemy is designed. If you have a shield on, he does that as well. And that's why we're making this video for you guys because I know you free to play players out there. You want to get the most investment back for your Primo Gems. If you get Zhongli, you can put them in any party and it's going to be an insane, insane thing for you there. Whether it is you want to put them in that superconduct team, whether you want to be your main carry, whether you want them to go in there and have that archaic Petra set four piece or the noblest four piece, or you want that Petrify, you want to run a very squishy character that does bonus damage for all these different reasons and they're super safe and you just stand in everything and feel like actual juggernaut and you're not able to be stopped in any way, shape or form. Zhongli is the character that you guys should be saving up for if you're looking for the most investment and the most power to further on your Genshin Impact. And you also have that future site because you know they're bringing back these characters. Are we gonna see them in 1.5? Who knows, 1.6? I don't know, they're doing this event, right? They're talking about the Chasm event. You've heard about that. Can't really cover it all that much because Mihoyo's over here slapping everyone down who talks about anything in the future with a giant copyright strike. And so we're treading the water right now because they really have eyes out on anyone who's just speculating and not showing anything to do with future information. But the one thing we can talk about because we know that it's going to eventually happen is a rerun banner and Zongli is the one that you guys really need to be looking out for because he's gotten buffed up and he is so good in so many ways. If you guys want to see more stuff on Genshin, you know what to do. Slap that like button, throw the order down on it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.